Hello everyone, welcome to Carpenter Station episode 13. Uh, this is going to be a bit weird because I'm recording this narration after recording it because I was even more ill than I am presently. Uh, but as you can see, I managed to find... I, I went to spawn and I'm somehow managed to find some painting, so I spruce the place up. Uh, that is a new relay which connects directly to the item delivery system, so handy thing. Uh, down in the basement, uh, we can just see that I have polished off, if it loads at all, uh, there's an item delivery tube now that goes into the system from this reed farm, which has been fully functional for quite a while and actually works as Sarah a fair bit more than I think it should, so hence the deactivation lever. And if we're lucky, we might see some reeds go through. Yeah, ah, there they go. Uh, so the accelerator pings them along at rapid speed. Uh, loading issues as always for me, and this over, really. Uh, and there, there's that big grey line there, which uh, goes through the ceiling to the tool shed, which is now fully functional. The uh, There's an MFE there instead of a bat box now, so it's a fully functional charging station, as was intended. Uh, the diamond factory is looking very cramped, but we can now control by lever almost anything. You may also notice that the uh, industrial information panel there is a bit balked, because apparently this... I found some weird stuff happening with fraps, such that apparently it no longer matters much what texture pack I'm on, so I, I upped things up a bit. Uh, but apparently that part's bugged. Oh well. Unfortunately I don't go into the uh, recreation room so I can show the new sofa, but oh well. We do have things to get done this day. Um... Which is, as I'm about to show you through the door, uh, ooh, let's check out fuel actually first. Uh, everything is functional, it all comes in under the floor into there. Uh, we might see that pop in at some point, I'm not 100% certain. Um, but things are actually getting a little backed up, because you can notice that all the units are there and they're not being pulled out, and that's because there's no fuel cans uh, to be refueled with the biofuel. Uh, so it's just sitting there and backing up, but that's fine because once this whole system can't actually receive any more uh, reads, they'll just start dropping off back at the, uh, the storage room. Uh, so what are we doing today, you may ask? Well, um, Karma Station is more or less functional now. We've got a stable power supply, we've got a stable tree farm, although I could do with upgrading that at some point, um, and we've got all manner of things. So, to give you a clue, uh, over here at the coke oven, I have got a relay at the top, uh, feeding coal in, and then I've got a transposer pulling coal coke out. I also have that creative oil building up, which is a mild issue, but I digress. Uh, so I've got a fair bit. It, I've been taking the coal coke, and as you're about to see, I've been shoving it into a similar relay over here at the industrial blast furnace, uh, which is turning a lot of iron, and I mean a lot of iron, into steel which I kind of wish I could reverse at points in the course of this episode, but you'll see. You'll see. Uh, so we're making a lot of steel, because we need a lot of steel uh, to make uh, a lot of high-speed rails. Uh, what we're doing today is we're building a railway from uh, spawn, uh, specifically in this order, from spawn to carpenter station. Uh, which I've already done a fair bit of work on by the time this uh, footage was made. I'll just pop into the tool shed, have a look at that charging system I mentioned. Yep, yeah, so we've got MFE, we've got a well, fully charged MFE, and we've got a charging bench. The charging bench is Mark free, so I can charge anything in it. Still wearing my main outfit, because apparently I'm completely immune to hyperfermia in this game. But uh, yeah, there goes charging the electric jetpack. Hooray! You may notice from some of that inventory that I've uh, got a plan for building stuff. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of uh, mousing over the items there and how to work them, uh, which is, I was using the uh, filler there after I realized how slow it was to get out to dig uh, out parts of this rail line that you're about to see, but uh, then I was hoping to use it for something else, which you'll see in a moment, but that doesn't turn out too well. Uh, I, I don't recall why I left this chest cart over here and stuffed some stuff in it. I only kept forgetting about it, <laughs> but... Uh, some more ideas there of what's going to be involved here, which is coming up soon, I believe, if I ever get out of this chest card. Yeah, sorry, um, I'm still a little, if I stand a little bit more, I'm still a little bit under the weather. And of course it's snowing and raining, but oh well. So here is the beginning of the uh, Spawn Carpenter rail line. And it goes a fair distance, it's not fully railed uh, just yet. Uh, but the main backbone of it, which is the coloured metal posts, is fully in place. 
goes all the way to spawn, it lands... User disconnected from your channel. Uh, it lands just next to Wisey's factory, but the actual station that, uh, that will be there is uh, fairly small, very compact, so it shouldn't cause any issues for Wisey. Um, there's a little construction form background onto this wherever it hits land because apparently that's my uh, that's my that's my material anyway. Um, but yeah, it was just me running the length of this rail, which is I believe it's about 660 blocks. So high speed rails are really desired for this uh, because I got tired of. Uh, Basically, I didn't want to have to type slash back or slash home or whatever every, ting every single time I came back from a never or from spawn. So, uh, mostly because that seems a little bit cheap to me. So, uh, I decided to start building a railway because it's one of the biggest products you can do. Railcraft is a fairly uh, resource-intensive mod, especially if you're building it over a very long distance as I am here. And it actually crosses two different, <laughs> two different lakes in the course of getting to spawn. Uh, not, be able, not that you'll be able to tell it from the, from the render distance, but uh, let's turn that up, shall we? Apparently my timing whilst watching this in the editor is uh, apparently as approximate as when I was making it. Um, uh, we are just approaching the tunnel now, which I used for the, which I used the filler for. It's rather nice tunnel. Uh, I figured... Well, the way that the posts work is that they're basically fences until you put some... Uh, until you put a track on top of them. At which point they basically become blocks that are just kind of weirdly shaped. So I had the uh, the rails five blocks apart, uh, five blocks wide, and I'll be having rails all along them so I can have uh, make sure make sure that pretty much no mobs ever get onto it. There's the odd spider there. That's a possibility, and uh, I'm going to have to explain to you in a bit why that's a problem. But <laughs> uh, yeah, here we are at spawn, uh, looking as dreadful as it does. I have to do something about that at some point. Why is he fact? Why is his factory? Uh, somehow I picked the only stretch of the river right next to Andy's house, which is uh, covered in uh, missing pieces. And here's the uh, slash home that I I don't like using, so that's why I'm building the railway. Uh, because my back my uh, my jetpack usually doesn't last all the way back. <laughs> um, but I had to reach I recharged it before I left, so we're okay. So the first thing we need to make is a metric hecton. And when I started filming this, I did not quite realize exactly how much of a metric hecton. Um, just checking if I left the door open. Um, apparently I didn't. I'm remembering that I left a bunch of steel in that chest car. Because, again, I don't know why I put it there. Apparently I did. Um, a statue of Station Chicken, who has unfortunately vanished, actually. I went under the, under the station to do some wiring, and I couldn't find Station Chicken, so I don't know where he's gone. But uh, rather strangely, shortly after he went missing, I found a little uh, little baby chicken just running around the the stations uh, the the, car the station chicken carpenter st uh, carpenter station station chicken um, mascot statue there, and I had no idea where he came from. It's very strange. But uh, anyways, having checked that out, uh, we're going to make a whole ton of metal posts. Now you're going to see that these are a different colour, or more precisely, they are lacking colour, uh, compared to the ones that you saw on the actual railway that's out at the moment. Uh, this is because you can colour them, and you can colour them eight at a time using one piece of dye. Um, yep, there we go, posts. Um, but I figured for like the main just side parts of the railway, we don't need to run about it. And here I am showing off that you can make it out of a lot of different uh, metals. There's iron, steel, bronze, and refined iron. But you get the most from steel, so that's what I've been using. Uh, steel is useful also in a number of the railcraft machines. Um, as you can see, the rolling machine doesn't have the inventory feature like project tables, so this can involve me counting out quite a bit of stuff. Uh, but that's not really too much of a worry. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've been kind of ill for the past three days or so. I got basically laid out by whatever the hell it is that I've somehow contracted. Uh, around Wednesday this week, uh, this week being the same week that I made the zero two FTL challenge. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, there's as as I'm me as I'm just recording this because um, I have a ton of uh, posts. As I say, you get a lot from steel. Uh, I made an update to the chip in page for uh, Major Lying Sam's new computer to add a couple of early uh, donation goals. 
so I think the first one is for a hundred dollars, which we're presently sitting at thirty. I will do a video uh, daily for a week, uh, not just of like one series, like Carpenter Station, five days in a, five days in a row. Uh, actually, like different series uh, for three hundred. I believe it was. I will do a face cam live stream of an adventure map. I'm remembering the. I'm trying to remember these from memory, so uh, if I quite miss things up, then <laughs> go ch go check out the um, the actual chipping page because uh, that's it goes into more detail. Uh, but there's there's things like um, a live stream of an adventure map. Bearing in mind, I've almost never touched uh, adventure maps, never a camera. Um, there's a Q and A live stream. Um, there's the actual uh, one uh, eight hundred dollars for me be a video of me just in a maid outfit, uh, whatever that may specifically entail. Um, uh, this is just me building somewhere I can. Uh, this this is an ill an ill fated idea. So you'll see why in a moment. <coughs> I'm still a bit sick. Sorry, uh, but um. Yeah, what are the the hundred is the mean and he in a made outfit, and then for, I believe it was fifteen hundred. Uh, you'll notice these straight you know, these the smaller goals go higher and higher apart. Um, is uh, me in the made outfit, legitimately trying to look good in the made outfit, um, reenacting scenes from like a maid's sim game, which is a Japanese uh, kind of video game genre, if you don't know. Um, as a YouTube uh, follow-the-link adventure kind of thing. So I think Nipty did something similar at one point. Uh, but those are all the, uh, the, like, the, the separate goals. So if you hit those, then I will do something. Sort of something to uh, give people a reason to donate um, where they don't think necessarily that they might actually allow us to reach the goal just by themselves. Uh, but anyways, my idea here was to use an energy link and my the MFE ammo was carrying around with the energy crystals to power this, um, this, uh, the, 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 the words, words, Tim, um, uh, to power the builder there, or the filler, but, uh, it turns out this doesn't work. I don't know if it's because it's, um, just, like, too small an area or if it's because it doesn't like having the, uh, metal posts in, but it doesn't work, as near as I can tell. And it drained all of the power out of my energy crystals, so I was then very happy to have my tool shed. Ah, I'm drinking lots of fluids and getting a lot of rest, but yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting better. Anyways, uh, this has also been a very busy week for me. It's a fairly hellish week, I've still got work to do. But uh, I thought I'd get this, uh, really, these, these next couple of videos done. Uh, this is more or less the next couple of videos are pretty much entirely me working on this railway, so um, rather than spend 15 episodes or so doing it, I figured I'd get it done in one long stretch of recording and then uh, uh, just sort of piece things together and narrate over it. Uh, but yeah, it turns out the filler doesn't work that way, <laughs> which is a shame, because it was so useful otherwise. Uh, I'd, I literally did spend a lot of time just, like, jetpacking across the map back to spawn, uh, laying down the initial backbone. And the, uh, the weird blocks you see in that backbone are um, cart detectors from Railcraft, and those are any detectors, specifically, which is any cart goes over them, they will release a redstone pulse from their face, and that's important later, uh, which I believe we'll see in the course of this episode. Um, <clears throat> ha, mm. Uh, what was I doing here? Well, yeah, I was trying to see... <laughs> yeah, I, I considered the engine generators, but I realized those are, um... Build craft power to, uh, industrial craft power, and I need the reverse, which is what the energy link usually does. Uh, because I used to use the energy link for transporting power tele uh, by teleport pipes, but, uh, you get a huge energy drop-off by distance if you do that. Though it is fairly effective, as I found. I just sleep the night away. Yeah, can't because there's monsters. Uh, but meanwhile, you can see that I've got a new, uh, nice little painting inside of my room now. Rem remind us of the old homestead. Me fleeing from ghasts whilst on fire. <laughs> oh, 
Although up until recently that wasn't a problem so much, and then, then the whole uh, Minecraft is now a server everywhere thing happened. Yeah, that kind of set me back a bit. But uh, I'm just going to get to work on this rail now. Uh, so yes, you need the rail lines like this to be at least three posts wide. Um, as you can see, you can put uh, the... Oh, I was just still trying this out because I thought it might be a stretch, but... Um, but yeah, as, as you can see, you can put rails on directly on top of the posts and they'll turn into a different model. But uh, when they do that, they lose the half a, the half an extra block high that they have normally, meaning they no longer prevent mobs from jumping up on top of them. So you need the lines to be at least three blocks wide uh, to retain that. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. One of the most annoying things actually when I got sick was um the the, the, the first thing anyone anyone thinks when they get sick is that they should have like some some uh, chicken soup or something. It's a complete placebo, but um, it's always like the the best thing you should have when you're sick for the, whatever reason. Um, yeah, the engine's not even trying to put power into it because it doesn't. It, the the filler thinks it doesn't have anything to put in. Um, I considered trying it with normal fences, but those don't look quite as nice. Um, but yeah, the first thing people think when they get sick is that they should like eat some mushroom. Uh, eat. Some, I keep thinking mushroom soup because I played too much Minecraft, evidently. Uh, the first thing I think is they should have some chicken soup. Um, and the way I, I, I... I'm always care careful to have some soups, like, in stock when I go get groceries. Uh, because it's it's a, it's a quick and easy thing. And yes, I'm finally uh, devolving to getting this down by hand, which is going to take me quite a while. Um, I uh, but uh, as it turned out, as I found out on Wednesday when I was basically dead, um, I didn't have any chicken soup, even though I'm always careful to buy one of them whenever I get groceries, but I did have some oxtail. Oxtail is not a soup that I actually like all that much. Uh, it tastes pretty decent with, like, some uh, slices of cheddar cheese, which is apparently a weird thing, but my family has always had, like, some kind of length of cheese whenever they're eating soup. Um, it's, it, but oxtail is, oxtail as a rule I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, besides that, it's legitimately the soup that I buy to remind me that I should go get groceries. Uh, so that was fun to have when I was already feeling rather yucky anyway. But uh, I believe we're approaching the point now where Fraps cuts out because I've actually managed to fill up my uh, external hard drive that I put my film footage on. Uh, so we will be rejoined fairly sharpish uh, when I believe I reach the tunnel near spawn. So, back in a quick moment. Right about... Mm, now. And I run, I noticed that when my frame, when my FPS went up quite significantly. But it is a hungry job building a, a railway, and I had to go back quite a few times and make quite a few more uh, metal posts. But I got here eventually, so... Yeah, you may notice that uh, I've, I've garnered quite a few things on the way there. Uh, just because I had to, they didn't, I, I had to fend for myself off quite a few things. Spiders, as with normal fences, can still climb up the metal posts, which is a bit of a pain. <coughs> ha! Mm, death. Um, but otherwise, they're fairly effective, even here, remarkably, because uh, the mobs don't really think to try and come off. Or at least that's been my experience thus far. Um, oh, hello, creeper. Perfect example time. Yep, he's he's trying, but he can't get over there because there's no rail on that post, so he so it's still a block and a half tall. Uh, which is why it's really handy for that. You can use it to elevate rails, or you can use it to actually just be a fence. It's remarkably useful that way. Uh, but yep, here we have the main line, and I've still got a fair bit to fill in with these posts. Uh, I actually end up making quite a bit more posts than I needed. Uh, it's like, it, it's always the thing. You make a ton of stuff, you can get it down, it's not nearly enough, so you go back, you make some more, more than you originally made, in fact, and it just keeps going and going and going, and repeat the cycle until you just have an absolute ton and it turns out you made too many. <laughs> That's always how things go. But uh, yeah, this is where uh, the line is going to start from. Uh, away you go, spider. Um, 
And the idea is that I'll use the interdimensional transport to get to the Never and to spawn, but I will then use the railway here to get back to Comforter Station, because whenever I come back through the Never, I'm always at spawn, uh, because of the scale of the map. Which is remarkable, since we're 660 blocks away, but it has to be like a thousand. I don't specifically know what the actual uh, minimum is, but apparently it's a thousand or so. Uh, which I think is closer to how far Q-Lab is from uh, Spawn than Carpenter Station. I actually haven't been back to Q-Lab for quite a while, uh, but it's got its, it's got its big hefty defense system there, so... Not a problem. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Because the uh, force fields are a little OP in Tekkit. And the even creative mode players can't get through them. But, um... Yeah, this is just going to be me putting down a lot more posts again, so... Uh... We'll go a little distance. <laughs> As you can see, I have made quite a lot. Um, so, so, so much iron invested in this project. Uh, in fact, I believe when I filmed this particular piece, uh, Calpenter Station was running fairly low on iron. And in the course of making this railway, I have to go on a few different uh, routes. And I'm just looking through there to see... Uh, you, you, you can see all the colours. I'm just seeing how many wheels are I making. And, oh, there's, that, there's that mysterious bridge. That's been there since the map was started. And virtually no one's actually ever come across it. I don't know why it's there. But uh, there's a theory that it's uh, that this map has been inhabited by a few uh, victims of Lord Gar over the years, and that's just something that someone else made, not unlike the houses that had names. But here we are, because uh, here we are actually going to make the track. So we need high-speed booster tracks to go over the detectors. Uh, this is how you make high-speed rails, steel, blaze, and gold. Ah, uh, here's me. The rolling machine has an inventory, so I can do things out and leave it be, and walk away as I like. Uh, but, um, I macerated some blaze rods before I started this whole thing, so that's fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, that bridge has been there for a while. I don't know why anyone built it. There's no buildings around the area. Carpenter Station is still quite a ways away. That's not even the halfway point, I don't think. But, uh, let's see. You need high-speed rails. You need rail beds, which are the most like ridiculously annoying things to make, because you need a rebar, which I ran out of when I was originally building Carpenter Station, because you needed to make concrete, which is what the flooring is. Uh, and you can't retrieve it from the concrete, unfortunately. Uh, but you also need a whole bunch of stone slabs, uh, which I don't use anywhere else. Uh, even though I have a tremendous abundance of uh, creosote oil. I don't think I've actually ever made any... Um, just like basic default bog standard, as the phrase goes, minecart tracks inside of um, Tech It, because there's just always um, there's always been this abandoned mine shaft in where I go mining underneath Carpenter Station, so I can just grab them as I need. Uh, although I think I ended up needing a few more in the course of uh, making this rail station. Ha! <coughs> Shortly before I die. Um, but yeah, you need the uh, the rebar and the free stone slabs, similar to how you need the wooden slabs and the creosote oil to make the stone ties, and they do not like go very far when you have them. Um, but that gets you just to a stone rail bed, and you then, yeah, that's how you make rebar. I don't think I've ever had to show that. Uh, yeah, so we had we we had an overstack of iron here still, and I think there's still some in the the resource the 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 raw ore chest around here when I film this part, but, um, yeah, had to pick a lot of that, and each one, each time you do that, you only get, um, well, from, from this, you get four rebar, which is enough to make one stone rail bed. And what's irritating is there's actually two different ways to make a stone rail bed, because the creosote oil and the wooden slabs also makes an item called the stone rail bed, but it's a different colour. Very annoying that way. That could just be a texture thing, but, uh, very, very annoying otherwise. Uh, yeah, so you need high-speed rail, and interestingly enough in uh, the items menu here, you can't just type HS and see all the stuff, or any, not, not even like H.S, you have to type track or you pretty much can't find it. Um, but yeah, this is how you make the high-speed, uh, the booster tracks. Uh, fairly straightforward, not too dissimilar from how you would normally make like a booster track, um, which I think I made a couple of, I can't remember specifically why. Um, 
but I had this wrong because Railcraft has this annoying thing where it goes back and forth between normal crafting and the rolling machine, and you can't do normal crafting in the rolling machine. So I had to keep uh, doing, I, I, I kept trying to make things in the rolling machine and finding out it needed to be in the project table and making things in the project table and finding out they needed to be in the rolling machine, so I was quite happy I put them next to each other. It is very, very annoying. And uh, that's how you make the bog standard, <laughs> as it were, uh, high-speed rail, which we're going to need a lot of in the course of this. Uh, but we are roughly approaching the end of this episode. With all the footage I made, this actually spans about two episodes, but uh, roughly we're, we're just passing about 25 and a half minutes here, so this is a little bit of a long episode as far as conversation goes. Uh, but this will be at 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I, a lot of the footage is me making all manner of rails. Um, so much so that I gave up recording it. Uh, because you, if, if, if you, you'll be able to see the names of all the rails that I make in the course of this two-parter kind of thing. Uh, so you can go look it up in the items menu for yourself as to how to make it, because... Oh god, oh, there's well, there are so many, and you need lots of iron to do well in Railcraft, but unfortunately Railcraft doesn't really have any way for you to get iron. Maybe that would be a thing they could investigate. Uh, but here's the way things go for actually putting the rail line together, uh, which is five high-speed rails, and then a booster rail on top of a detector. Uh, so nothing, nothing on the rail line is really active as long as it's not in use. And then, a, and then when anything goes across, it'll get the boost, which is nice, so it'll last a little while. But, um... <clears throat> my throat is giving out a bit here. Because <laughs> uh, I'm still not fully recovered, you may be able to tell. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is going to be my life for the next, like, two, three hours. Because, uh, I made a lot of rails, and they don't last very long on this kind of track. Um... Uh, so, I believe the next episode uh, will be seeing me finishing all of this track, <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll give it its first and ooh, uh, yeah, it's like texture glitch with the rails, the high speed rails, is that for a little moment they look like regular track, which is was a bit disorienting when I was doing this, but uh, yeah, we'll be inaugurating the full rail line uh, next episode. Uh, about two minutes in, probably, just looking at the footage here in the editor. Uh, so that is more or less it for now. He said as his voice gently turns into Morgan Freeman. <coughs> I wish. Um, so I shall catch you all next time in the adventures of... Yeah, that's not meant to be there. The adventures of Sick Lion tries to narrate making a railway. So, catch you later, guys. And girls. Hello, they're all girls. I'm going to go die now. Bye!